Now, if your drawing skills aren't up to drawing directly onto the page, you'd be glad to know that Notebook now has some tools for shapes, lines, and stickies. So for instance, if we go to this shapes menu, if we want to just create a rectangle to create a diagram, we select a rectangle, drag that onto the page, and we can then rescale. Uh, we can also go to the inspector and go to the shape inspector. We've got full control over the style, the stroke of the particular object, the fill and rotation, and also the shadow as well. You can also select shapes from the main menu. So if we wanted a diamond, we can select that, drag that down, rescale it. Uh, if we wanted to enter words in the center, we just double click in the center. We can select and move it across. And then also there are the options for lines, so different types of lines. So if we wanted two arrows, we could select that, drag it out, reposition one end and reposition the other end. And we have a midpoint here as well. And again, this is all configurable via the shape inspector. So we can make the line curved if we wanted to, and then we can drag the curve. We can change the endpoints to make it a different arrowhead or end in a dot. Now, one of my favorite additions to the new version of Notebook is the addition of sticky notes, uh, sticky flags, and also sticky reminders. Now, they're very simple to create. All we need to do, well, two options. We can either do it directly from the toolbar, so we can click on the sticky note option within the toolbar, or we can go to the notes option in the menu bar and select them from there. So let's start with, a, a say, a, a red sticky note. I can just give it a title. I can click away and click back in and then move it anywhere on the page. I can select a shape. So we wanted a circle or an oval rather, drag that onto my sticky note. I can double click in the middle and edit that. I can also select a text box and then drag a text box onto there. I could even put some handwritten text in as well if I wanted to. And everything stays together on my sticky note and I can move that anywhere on the page. Another option is a sticky flag. So if I go to notes and say new sticky flag, let's say a yellow sticky flag. Again, I can move that anywhere on the page. I can double click and annotate it. And again, move it anywhere on the page. And finally, we have a reminder flag and let's select the important flag. I can move that anywhere. I can type onto the reminder flag. I can make that bigger so it's formatted nicely. Well, the nice thing is I can now move that and have it sticking at the edge of the page, just like a proper notebook. So now if I go to the contents page, I can see my important page with its notes sticking out, so I can go straight there and that page will open for me. So I think that's a really neat feature.